Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today I want to do a quick tutorial on how to make rocks for a few reasons. A lot of people are asking me to bring the tutorials back as well as I found a new way that I really like to make them. We used to use uh, a bunch of random stuff to make rocks and it was quite a long process and to be fair not really that fun but the new way oh this is just it's pretty fun so I usually start out with a UV sphere and then I'm gonna press S and Z to scale it on the Z axis. To bring in the UV sphere, you press Shift A. That's how you get this whole panel to bring in whatever mesh you would like. I do wanna try to make this uh, so beginners can follow it as well. So first things first, we have this cool UV sphere. We're gonna press Tab to go into edit mode. And then over here, we have our knife tool. If we hold click on this, we have a tool called Bisect. Now this tool, is so so fun to use and uh i've just been loving it i'm gonna be honest so all you do you have it selected and then you just grab your mouse and drag where you want it to cut so for this one we're gonna cut right here and then we open up this little thing down here let me can i oh i can't move it my mouse thing's a little in the way anyways we're gonna clear inner and if that gets rid of the wrong thing we deselect it and clear outer and then, as you can see, there's a hole, so we just click Fill. So this is how we start our rock. And then you press A to select everything again, and do another drag, like this. We will clear outer, nope, okay, clear inner, and fill. And you rinse and repeat this process, guys, until you have a rock shape that you're satisfied with. So, so far, we have something like this. And it doesn't have to be locked in a view either. So if I wanted to press A and maybe cut this side, we'll do something like that. Clear inner, fill, there we go. And as you can see, we're starting to carve out a rock shape. So each time you're gonna press A to select the whole mesh again. And then you wanna kind of go just to random angles and drag just like this. We're gonna clear outer and fill. And you just keep rinse and repeat this process and it just looks so good and it's fun to do you'll never end up with the same rock as somebody else which is really cool and it gives you this really nice like sharp look so let me go ahead and cut the bottom off we'll just do it like right here i feel like i want it to bend back a little bit clear outer nope clear inner fill there we go and now we have just this, which we can keep working with to make an awesome rock. So just grab random spots and you're just going to be cutting, guys. So clear inner. That's the wrong one. Clear outer. There we go. And you just keep turning it and cutting it until you have the whole rock that you want. And you can cut over where you've already cut as well, which is a very cool thing. Let's clear inner. Fill. So as you can see, we're starting to get a very, very cool rock form. Press A. Let's do a slice over this way. Clear inner and fill. And guys, as you can see, the rock is looking very, very cool. Let's press A. We can do a cut over here. This is a pretty big cut, but it is A-OK. -okay. There we go. That's going to get that side looking like a rock. We can do a small little cut down here just to get rid of all of those circles. Perfect. And once again, guys, for the beginners, what you're doing, you spawn it with this UV sphere and you press A to select everything while using this bisect tool. Then you just click and drag where you want it to cut through and then select one option, either clear inner or clear outer. And if, if it gets rid of the wrong thing, just deselect it and select the other one and then fill. And you'll just keep working your way around this rock. As you can see, it's already a pretty cool shape. Let me go ahead and grab something like this, a really harsh cut, clear inner and fill. There we go. And the goal is to get rid of everywhere you can see the UV sphere because that's, well, it, it's not really too rock-like, guys. So A, we'll cut this, perfect, fill. And guys, this just looks so, so cool. And then this one, we're gonna do a pretty big cut like that, clear outer and fill. And as you can see, we now have a rock. And we can go ahead and make this sort of however we want. So I am going to rotate this one so it's flat this way. Just like that. We have one rock. We got another one right here. We could do shift D and kind of just make these however we want. So we could stretch along the X axis and maybe go down a little bit on the Z axis. So we have something like this. And if we wanted, we could even go back into our edit mode, grab a vertice that we don't really like where it's placed, turn on proportional editing, 
and we can kind of just move around our rock. So I think that edge is a bit sharp. I don't like that. So we're going to move it in and then I'm going to grab this edge, press G and make that a little bit bigger and we can move this edge in as well. You do want to avoid anything where it seems to get like a shading issue, like what just happened when we moved this in. As you can see, we get a bunch of weird shading down here and you want to avoid that at pretty much all costs. It's just not a good look. So right here, we have three rocks. I'm going to make a few more and uh, we're just going to kind of bring those to the side and rinse and repeat that process. So once again, if you're still following along or, you know, you're new to Blender and want a little reminder, this could be any shape. If you wanted a longer rock instead of a taller rock, you could go ahead and just scale this along the X axis by pressing S and then X on your keyboard. And now we can have some sort of a cut like this and we can do the same thing. So go into edit mode. We have our bisect tool, which is right here. Click on that. I'm not sure the hotkey for it. Oh, shift space bar, shift B. Huh. Okay, so if you for some reason can't find this and don't know how to hit all those keys at once, you can always do F3 and then type in bisect just like this and you can just click on it right there. But you should be able to find it. No problem at all. Let's go ahead and start cutting off some of this rock guys. There we go. And if you do not press A after you cut it off, like check this out, you just you can't do anything. But if you press A again, and then bring out your bisect, you can start doing everything you need to do. Now, of course, we want our rocks flat at the bottom. I do like it when they scale in just a little bit. So I'm going to grab this and kind of bisect like this and clear that inner right there. And now we have a cool uh, flat spot where we can easily put the rock down at. Of course, we have a lot more cutting to do on this. So let's just uh, let's just kind of get it done. And the great part about this method is first off it's fun it's a literal fun way to make rocks second way or second thing that's awesome about it is it's just you're not gonna end up with the same stuff as somebody else like that's a huge thing honestly i'm gonna cut it right here once and guys i think i'm just gonna speed this up till i get this rock done also it seems like i have this uh pretty on lock now the clear outer basically i the inner would be the inside towards the center of your object which uh definitely makes sense so clear outer and it will be perfect for us now to get some of the top of this rock kind of cut out all right guys so just like that we have another rock made i do think this one would look a lot better squished back down on the x-axis and of course you don't need to move your uv sphere at all if you like just like you know a normal looking rock that's not stretched or anything like that you don't need to move the uv sphere at all and you could just go off the normal one but i do think this is my new favorite way to make rocks they just look so so good and if you're wondering about this white outline you just go up to this drop down menu right here turn on cavity and then you have your ridge and valley which i usually have all the way up but uh, yeah, I just didn't at this point. Also, we have some weird shading here that uh, we'll probably need to work out if we want to take these into like Substance Painter or something. But I can always figure out that one later. Here is my new way to make rocks in 2022. If you did enjoy and want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.